So before we get into today's show, I just want to read you one of the reviews on iTunes. In just a few short days, I'm saying goodbye to my 50s and hello to 60. About 20 years ago, a wise dear friend said to me, I think that was my mistake in life, leaving myself out. I wrote that down on a piece of paper and I have carried it with me in my wallet ever since. Along with a few other quotes that I carry, I take it out and read it from time to time. But it's easy to get off track and we all need reminders. Francine's podcasts are just in time for me to rediscover and renew, but more importantly, be that reminder to not leave myself out. After all, that's one mistake I don't want to make. And that's from Annie 08501. So thank you, Annie, for your review. And I just want to remind you guys, if you haven't left a written review, please do so. Not only is that how we get the word out and gets the show broadcasted to people so they don't miss the episodes, but words of affirmation, that's my love language. So if you're familiar with uh, Gary Chapman's five love languages, and if not, why (laughs) you need to find that out for yourself and for everybody that you surround yourself with. But anyway, words of affirmations is my love language. So please go leave a review. Welcome to the Life on Tap podcast, where we help you rediscover your potential so that you feel confident, clear, and independent. Have you inadvertently put yourself last all these years by putting others first, only to wake up in your midlife and find yourself lost in the shuffle? Girl, I have so been there. Let me share with you the lessons I've learned to create a new direction to rediscover yourself. Together, let's go on a journey of mastering your potential, tapping into the power that already exists inside of you. We'll talk confidence, self-care, organization, health and well-being, money mindsets, financial hacks, and how to kick your limiting beliefs to the curb for good. We will find and establish your vision. Get crystal clear on it. This is your blueprint, your life untapped. I'm your host, Francine Rivera, lifestyle consultant and certified health coach. I'm also the founder of the Life Untapped Coaching System, where you can earn as you learn with our affiliate program. Check it out at thelifeuntapped.com and grab our free mini course, The Guilt-Free Balanced Life, while you are there. Are you ready for your blueprint? Let's dig in. All right. So today, the boundary blueprint. When we talk self-care, self-care is not just the bubble bath, the spa day, the massage, the manicure, pedicure. It's not going on a shopping spree. Yes, it could be all of those things, but I think one often overlooked element of self-care is boundaries. Like if we don't have boundaries, things in our life can be an energy drain. It could be very taxing and, and mentally it's fatigue, you know, fatigue. So just like a castle or your home would have a fence, right? A castle would have like the moat and the guard and all the stuff. Like you are in control of what you take on, what comes into your life, what is allowed, Okay, you are controlling what you allow to come into your into your space. All right. So how, Fran, how do we set these boundaries? I'm going to give you some tips and it's going to go with the Ackerman boundary. Now, this is not I first heard this message rather from a mentor of mine, Stephanie Gass, and she is brilliant. And I heard this and I was like, I need to pass this on to you guys because it really blessed me and I hope it would resonate with you too. All right. So the first letter in boundary is B. So we're going to focus on blessings. What are your top five blessings in your daily life? Things that you need to recognize. It could be as simple as enjoying a meal with your spouse or your children, or it could be as simple as watching the sunrise or sunset. Like what are blessings? They don't have to be anything big. It could be just things that we all actually often overlook them. But when you're conscious and you have to think about it and then you're like, oh yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, there are so many. So five in your daily life and learn to recognize these blessings and not give in to the idols in your life. Now, when I say the idols in your life, 
I'm talking probably for most of us, or I know for me, an idol I constantly have to struggle or fight against is my cell phone. Like I will tell you, I can be addicted to the cell phone, social media. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Um, I'll scroll Instagram for some people. Um, it's just my distraction, my diversion. So when you focus on your blessings in life and learn not to give into the the idols, the things that take you away from the important stuff. Okay. So recognize that second letter in boundary, we're going to go with O. O stands for observe. So observe where are you feeling unsettled or stressed or overly anxious, burnt out, overwhelmed. They're all indications of areas in our life where we don't have boundaries set up and where we need them. So think about it. Like when you reflect and you observe where you're feeling this tension and stress, those are areas in your life you definitely need to have boundaries. So they could be work, health, relationships, money. Like I said, if you find yourself being distracted by different things, but you're feeling stressed because you know you shouldn't be, I'll use the phone example again, you know you shouldn't be on the phone that much. So you've got that little knot in your stomach, but you do it anyway. Recognize that, observe that feeling and know that's where you definitely need a boundary. All right, next letter, understand, you for understand. Take an inventory of what you just observed. Now, I don't want you to get angry. I don't want you to feel guilt. This is not to make you feel ashamed and guilty. Like, no, just, but just why? Like, understand, like for me, when I'm on the phone a lot, like, I feel like because if I just have pockets of the day for me to pick up a book, like I can't just read a sentence or a paragraph or two, it gets me like, I, I just need to, to read in a long block of time. So when I pick up the phone, I give myself the excuse, well, I can just scroll real quick, you know, while I'm cooking dinner or whatever. So, but then when you recognize this and when you understand, give yourself grace. So no anger, no shame, no guilt. Okay. Grace. So understanding is part of the process. Next letter in boundary, negotiate. So I'm going to ask you to negotiate with yourself. After you identify what is lacking in what particular area of your life, start small. It doesn't have to be an all or nothing. Like, uh, again, using the phone example, don't say, well, that's it. I'm just going to put the phone in the drawer all day. I mean, great if you could. But if you have an all or nothing mentality, I think most of us will set ourselves up for failure because it's hard, right? So start small. Put time limits. You know, I'm only going to be on social media, maybe 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon or evening, like whatever it looks like for you. Start small and it, you're negotiating with yourself, with yourself, right? So you have to do this in whatever is lacking in whatever bucket, if you will. Like I mentioned before, when you have to observe what areas of your life, put them into buckets. Like maybe you have stress with, with money or um, a relationship or with something at work. So identify what area, what's lacking and what bucket of your life, so to speak, and then negotiate in that area. All right. So next letter D for decide, draw the line in the sand. Once you decide, figure out the implementation. What does it look like? Plan for it. Again, using the phone as an example, maybe remove those apps, remove the apps from Friday night to Monday morning, maybe, right? So you can be intentional with your family all weekend or whatever it looks like to you. You have to plan for it. So we're all different. I don't know where you're feeling stressed and what area you need the boundary, but deciding, figuring it out, and then planning for it, implementing that plan. Next letter, A stands for action. Just do it right? (laughs) To quote Nike, Nike, just do it. So set the alarm, write it down, make it a priority, whatever it has to be for you, whatever it looks like for you and whatever area you're trying to set boundaries in. And then don't fall victim to the limiting beliefs or the lies that you tell yourself like, oh, I can't do this. Or I, you know, I just do it because. So don't, don't fall victim to that. Okay. You just, again, bring yourself back to why you're doing this. And the negotiations set the action step, right? And do it. 
All right, so next letter is R. Reevaluate the plan. Okay, so now you've got your plan, you implemented it, you took action. But maybe it's time to increase your boundaries after you see how it's going. Or maybe it's time to pull back a little, maybe not be so harsh if you were going, you know, more towards all or nothing. If you just went cold turkey and said, oh, I'm going to put my phone away for all day and then you failed, like, don't give up. Reevaluate the plan. Or maybe you see, oh, I can live without scrolling social media. And again, I'm just using social media, guys, and as, as an example, this could be for any area of your life that you need boundaries. Like I said, for me right now, I think it is for the phone, so I'm using that example. But if I say if I took the apps off over the weekend and I was like, wow, I survived, right? <laughs> it wasn't so bad after all. Maybe I can increase it. Maybe I can keep the apps off my phone all the time and just go on social media when I'm on my laptop, say once a day. So that's why you constantly need to reevaluate and see how it's working for you. Or maybe it's become such a habit that you no longer need it because you just have that structure and in the beginning, and now it's a good habit. Like if you've done it for about a month and you're like, oh, this now is, is just part of my life. It's part of what I do. I don't need to you know, be so strict with maybe taking off the apps. Maybe now you can have the apps on there, but it's a habit that you just don't go on them. So, or if you've tiptoed in, maybe it's time to go all in now. So that's why you're going to have to constantly reevaluate. Next letter in boundary, why? The why stands for you because you matter. You are worth it. I want you to find the joy in the journey. Without boundaries, you're going to miss out on the blessings And you're going to miss out on living your life untapped. When you are that busy, you just can't hear the downloads that you get from God or or that inner voice of yours or the universe, whatever you believe in. If you're that busy and you just allow all the distractions to come into your life and you don't have those boundaries to get what you need to be done, get what you need done that's important, you're missing out and you're not living your life to the fullest and you're not living your life untapped, right? And that's what it's all about. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you need help with boundaries, if this was helpful and uh, what you're doing to implement and how it works out for you. Thanks so much for listening. But before you go, if you found value in today's show, I would love it if you would take a screenshot of this episode shared it with others on social media and be sure to hit that subscribe button and head on over to itunes or wherever you listen to rate and leave a review it is how we can empower educate and shift how others visualize their lives until next time my friend remember to live a life untapped you are worth it